Welcome back. So starting out the week, Jeff and Devon are finishing off these uh, foot pads there for the pilot and co-pilot and by creating that uh, ramp there at the back there uh, to close out that section and they'll be filling that with some uh, expanding foam in the coming days. And over on the redrive, I finished tapping those other holes uh, for where the plugs are going to be and here I'm putting some flexible sealer there on the little plugs there and the allen head plugs and just uh, bolting those or screwing those into place and then cleaning up the excess there and the next step was to put the o-rings in place at least try and make sure that they fit nicely so there's four o-rings that go around those bolts there that um, secure the load on the journal bearings and then there's one for the oil pass through which is a slightly different size and the next job was this o-ring sort of material there that uh, goes in this uh, slot that's been uh, machined all the way around the housing on the one side and it was machined sort of with a dovetail profile so what i'm doing here is uh, stretching out the o-ring material so i can get it into the dovetail and uh, then i i figured out i was actually stretching it out too much so i pulled it back out again then and stretch it out a bit at a time and then sort of push it back in again so it's not under any stretching load or at least very minimal uh, and it will stay snug into the dovetail there so it doesn't really fall out you know once you uh, you know lift up the case and tip it over or anything like that so I did both sides of that and that didn't take uh, too long to complete and there you can see that's how it looks um, with both sides done and the o-rings in place so now the other side of the housing sort of mates up to that. I still need to trim the ends of those um, of the O-ring material there where they sort of butt up against the oil uh, seals. And back over on the fuselage, Devon is doing the layup there for the left-hand side of that little ramp for the foot pad. So it's pretty much done. It's got the other side done, as you'll see here in a second. So what we're going to do now is um, drill a couple of holes in there and fill that with expanding foam in order to make it much more rigid because the um, carbon fiber we put down you know wasn't really um, that thick it was probably only 50 thou or something like that so it's a little bit flexible now but the expanding foam will make it nice and rigid so my next job was to remove the old uh, upper redrive from the engine there uh, so we can sort of uh, get prepped for putting the new redrive on and ultimately the new prop um, but there's still quite a bit of stuff that needs to be done uh, with the redrive. I need to create some more uh, oil lines to feed the regular oil feed and also the high pressure feed from uh, the governor, which actually I've already got that one, but I also need to uh, create the return because we didn't have, the previous one didn't have oil feed to it, so I need to create a return. So there's a few things still that I need to do. And uh, this is what it looks like there with the old redrive. Um, the upper redrive at least removed no, no. from the engine and the next thing I was going to do there I see I'm already in the process of uh, removing or changing out the governor because the old governor isn't the right one that we need so I got the new governor there so that's a project underway and if you recall last time Devon was cutting out these brackets there for the parachute strap mounts so there's the one the right side one sort of fit into place there with the bolt from the landing gear poking through it and also the sleeve now um, fit into place so that's ready to be tacked into place and moving back over to the governor here I was actually I took the whole governor mounting plate out it was going to be easier that way and uh, bolted uh, unbolting the governor and uh, putting the new one on so this is the new one going on in place now and there's uh, the old one sitting there and lock tightening the bolts in place and then I remembered that uh, when we had the old governor we actually had to clock the back of it here 180 degrees otherwise it was going to interfere with um, the sort of side um, of the engine. So I had to do that and uh, that involved uh, undoing the screw or cutting the safety wires and undoing the screws there on the back plate of the whole thing and then um, just basically rotating it 180 degrees. that's how it looks uh, after that job's done and it's all screwed back in and uh, redid the safety wire as well 
So it's ready to go back onto the engine now. And last weekend I had picked up these return springs and I had forgot to show you that Jeff had mounted those. Uh, these are for the rudders. So as you can see the spring will uh, push the rudder back to uh, being in the, in the straight position and uh, pushing on it will uh, deflect the rudder. And you can see the same result over here on the other wing. So that's the uh, right hand wing there. Sort it out. So anyway, uh, next thing I, I tacked uh, the first one of these things in place. Actually, it's not still not good at uh, using the TIG because I don't get any practice. But anyway, tacked that in place. That's ready to go off to Brits. And uh, also got the governor installed over there before the end of the day there on Monday, as you can see. So now I have to hook up the oil feed to that again. And back over on the redrive, I didn't actually get any video, but I'll grab some uh, next time around uh, to show you. I've got the thrust washers in there now, which um, stop the or prevent the fore and aft movement of the shaft. And it's uh, actually moving nicely in there. So that's another job done. And now we're on to Tuesday. And Tuesday morning, I tacked this other uh, parachute bracket in place there, or at least tacked the little uh, through tube in place. So I could take it over to Brits and zipped up to Brits with that. And so there's the one of them. He's welded that up already and put the little ears on there for the mounting bolts uh, that actually hold the straps. And there's the other one that's done as well. I'm just waiting for those to cool a little bit and um, so I can head back to the shop. But uh, thanks again, Brit, for turning that around so quickly. And actually, quite a few people have talked about uh, in the last video about doing some dowel pins um, in the redrive to keep it the two ha halves of the um, casing aligned so here I'm doing a little test to see what it would take so I'm, I've drilled out this hole with slightly smaller than a quarter inch bit and now I'm reaming it out with a 0.249 and I've got some 0.249 pins I'm just going to try one of them and try pressing it through there um, to see how snugly that fits uh, I just, you know, was researching and, you know, Britt was giving me some information as well and I talked to Jeff about it and uh, everyone agrees I kind of need to do it. So probably what I'm going to do is just drill four of these holes um, and then you can see I'm just pressing that pin into place, uh, just using the drill press there. So what I'm going to do is just drill four holes on the outside edge of the flange and that fit really snug in there. It's not going anywhere. Um, so I'm going to drill four holes on the outside edge of the flange of the redrive and um, and then use dowel pins to align that and then that'll be that job done. So the other thing I was waiting on now was these uh, helicoils um, for the mounting bolts there for the brackets. So those arrived from McMaster and along with the tools that I ordered. So that's the tool for inserting the helicoil and basically it's kind of like a threaded spring and uh, the guys who machined everything for us, they put a thread in there, but it's oversized because uh, it's aluminum. And then the helicoil will end, end up creating um, a thread that's smaller and that will actually fit the bolts that we have. And it's steel, so it's, uh, not, it's not gonna wear out like aluminum would. So this little device in here, you basically uh, set the depth that you want in there with a little uh, collet at the end. And then you put one of these uh, helicoils in there and you just basically start sort of turning the thing and it sort of winds it in, it sort of preloads it. There's a thread inside that, the end of that thing, as you can see in there, so that there's a little cross part of the spring at the end or the thread at the end that uh, catches on this, um, the winding tool. And so that uh, basically winds it up so it's just about to pop out there and then you put it in place where the you know hole's already been threaded oversize and then you just wind that and it just inserts the little coil in there and then you back it out and you have a nice steel thread in your aluminum um, block there so that's done and then the last thing there's a little tool here which is just basically a fancy little screwdriver you just shove in there and you it clicks one time and it breaks the little um, tab thing off the end there that was the one that was allowing you to actually rotate the the um, thread and just by doing this it just basically drops out and it's just the tiny little bit at the end of the uh, helicoil that's left over so that's what that looks like so i did uh, all eight of the mounting um, bracket holes on the redrive there so that's that done so the last things to do in the redrive is now to, to do uh, these dowel pin holes and also waiting for the brand new bearings to come the brand new journal bearings because the ones that we had in there 
They're a little bit uh, marred up from you know all the dev testing and fitting, so I wanted to put new ones in there. And so in the afternoon, I moved on to creating the oil feed lines there that I didn't have yet. So this is a uh, two of the lines there. I had to modify one and uh, just uh, actually create a longer one. And then I've got a Y there, so it's one's coming off of the oil feed from the engine. One goes off to the governor, and then the other one is going to go from the Y. It's going to head off to the new redrive. And so here I'm just sort of test fitting those first two lines in place. I haven't created the third one yet that runs over uh, to the redrive. And then I still have to do the uh, return from the redrive that goes back into the sump. And that has to sort of Y in with um, the return from the turbo as well. And also the return from the redrive. And uh, Devin got these uh, brackets there after they've been welded up by Brett. He got those bonded into place and then we'll be just um, priming, spraying and priming those and then just painting them black. So they're actually become a permanent fixture there on that back bulkhead. And then we'll be able to connect the parachute straps to those. And there's the one on the other side all done now. So getting close to having all that stuff with the parachute sorted out. There's still a few more things to do up top that you'll see uh, coming later. So things are moving along in a busy week there still you know, now coming up to Christmas and uh, we'll be taking a day off next week uh, before Christmas and then back at it again for the rest of the week. Anyway, that's our update for the first half of this week and thanks again for watching. Mm -hmm.